Muscle tissue, classification, structure, and function. Pause text and illustrations for detailed study. Muscle is a band or bundle of contractile fibrous tissue in animals and humans that produces movement and positional maintenance. Actin and myosin are proteins. Actin is a spherical protein that forms thin filaments in muscle cells and is involved in other cellular processes. Myosin is a motor protein molecule that generates muscular contractile force. Thin actin and thick myosin filaments in muscles slide past each other, producing the muscle contraction to which locomotion positional change of body parts, as well as movement of and within internal organs is attributable. Functional muscles produce force and motion resulting in processes such as body movement, cardiac contraction, and peristalsis that moves food in the digestive system. Muscle tissues are derived from the mesoderm of embryonic germ cells in the formative process of myogenesis. Voluntary muscles, such as skeletal muscles, contract upon conscious demand. Involuntary muscles, such as cardiac and smooth muscles, contract in the absence of conscious thought. Voluntary and involuntary autonomic signals from the brain produce nerve impulses resulting in muscular movement. Skeletal muscles may consist of fast or slow twitch muscle fibers that respectively contract quickly but rapidly, become tired, or function for an extended period of time without becoming rapidly exhausted. Muscles derive functional energy from the oxidation of fats and carbohydrates. Energy is also derived from anaerobic chemical reactions, as in the case of fast twitch fibers yielding adenosine triphosphate energy molecules powering the myosin point of origin of muscles. Anaerobic process involves is related to or requires free oxygen. Anaerobic processes neither involve, relate to, nor require free oxygen. Slow twitch type 1 muscle fibers are capillary dense mitochondria and myoglobulin in rich red muscle tissue. They are capable of bearing more oxygen and maintaining aerobic activity using fats and carbohydrates as fuel. They contract for extended periods of time with little force. Fast twitch type 2A, 2B, 2X muscle fibers differ in contractile velocity and generated force, and contract with quickness and power, but rapidly fatigue. They are capable of brief anaerobic blasts of action before pain sets in, functioning in muscle strength and accumulation of muscle mass. It is characterized as white muscle being comparatively less mitochondria and myoglobulin rich. Striated of striped appearance contractile muscle consists of parallel bundles of muscle fibers. The skeletal attachment is via tendons. Cardiac muscle is also striated. Striated muscle contractions are short and intense. Smooth muscle contractions are of relatively much longer duration. Three major muscle types illustration. Skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle tissue characteristics illustration.
Skeletal muscle illustration. Skeletal voluntary muscle is anchored by a tendon or a neurosis to bone, functioning in skeletal movement as well as postural movement and maintenance. Skeletal muscle fibers illustration. Skeletal muscle and nerve bundle cross section illustration. Cardiac involuntary muscle illustration. Cardiac muscle illustration. Observe the intercalated disc joining cardiomyocytes in the center of the magnified section of this microscopic slide image. Cardiac muscle is comprised of individual cardiomyocytes connected by intercalated discs functioning as a syncytium for the synchronized contraction of the cardiac muscle of the heart as a functional organ. Cardiomyocytes are heart muscle cells united by intercalated discs encased by collagen fibers as well as other substances forming a structural extracellular matrix. Cardiac muscle contraction involves electrical stimulation by means of an action potential causing calcium to be released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum functioning as a cellular internal calcium store. It is essential to the transmission of electrical impulses in this process. The cardiac action potential consists of a brief voltage change membrane potential across the cell membrane of cardiac cells. This results from the movement of ions, charged ions, between the interior and exterior of the cells through proteins referred to as ion channels. The resulting calcium level increase causes cardiac muscle cell myofilaments to slide past one another in an excitation-contraction coupling process. The cardiac action potential arises from a group of specialized cells possessing the capability of automatic action potential generation. Action potentials pass the cell membrane causing muscle contraction. Cardiac muscle cells are linked to one another via gap junction structures allowing action potentials to pass from one cell to the next. This enables coordinated contractions of certain cardiac cells in the upper and lower chambers of the heart to occur in proper order in support of a proper cardiac rhythm and blood circulation providing for correct cellular oxygen perfusion and respiratory waste elimination. Smooth muscle illustration. Smooth muscle illustration. Smooth involuntary muscle exists within the walls of organs as well as structures such as the erector pili of the skin, bronchi, bladder, blood vessels, esophagus, intestines, stomach, urethra, and uterus. The 
head, belly, and insertion of a muscle respectively refers to its point of origin, central bulging portion, and the point where it moves with the contraction. Cardiac and skeletal muscle are striated, containing sarcomeres. Sarcomeres are regularly arranged bundles seen in cardiac and skeletal muscles. They are regular and parallel in skeletal muscle. Sarcomeres are branched and irregularly arranged as intercalated discs. Since smooth muscle fibrils are not arranged as sarcomeres, they are not striated. Sarcomere filaments are composed of actin and myosin. A sarcolemma is a thin, transparent, tubular sheath enveloping skeletal muscle fibers. The epimysium is a fibrous elastic tissue sheath that surrounds a muscle. The perimysium is a connective tissue sheath surrounding a muscle fiber bundle. The endomysium is the fine sheath of connective tissue surrounding a muscle fiber. It consists of collagen fibers. Muscle fascicles are bundles of skeletal muscle surrounded by perimysium. A skeletal muscle fiber consists of a single cylindrical muscle cell. A band refers to a region of a striated muscle sarcomere. Upon muscular contraction, light I bands disappear and dark A bands move in closer proximity due to microfibrils sliding against one another. The H zone is in the center of the dark A band where no overlap exists between thick and thin filaments. It becomes smaller upon muscular contraction as the sarcomere shortens. The M line is the attachment site for thick muscle filaments in the center of the A band being in the center of the sarcomere. The Z-disc delineates the muscle sarcomere boundaries of an individual muscle sarcomere as two adjacent Z-discs along the myofibril mark. Thin muscle filaments attach at the Z-disc. Thin filaments project to two neighboring sarcomeres from each Z-disc. The dense body of smooth muscle is analogous to the Z-disc. The mitochondrion is a cellular organelle in which respiration and energy production occur. An adenosine triphosphate ATP compound is in all living tissue, consisting of an adenosine molecule bonded to three phosphate groups, whereby the breakage of one phosphate group forms adenosine diphosphate ADP yielding energy for physiological processes, such as muscle contraction. P subscript I represents an inorganic phosphate group forming part of an ATP reaction. Calcium is a mineral stored in the hard portion of bones, essential to bone health, cardiac function, muscular contraction, and normal blood clotting. Muscle Fiber Components Illustration Organization of a Muscle Fiber Illustration An example of the various roles and functions of skeletal muscles. The skeletal muscle vein pump consists of skeletal muscles that assist the heart in blood circulation, increasing venous return to the heart, playing a role in arterial blood flow.
skeletal muscle contraction illustration. Smooth muscle contraction illustration. The dense bodies and intermediate filaments are networked through the sarcoplasm, which cause the muscle fiber to contract. Dense bodies are analogous to the Z-disc of skeletal and cardiac muscle and are fastened to the sarcolemma. Simplified schema of basic nervous system function illustration. Signals are picked up by sensory receptors and sent to the spinal cord and brain via the afferent leg of the peripheral nervous system, whereupon processing occurs that results in signals sent back to the spinal cord and then out to motor neurons via the efferent leg. Motor neurons are nerve cells that are part of a pathway that passes impulses from the brain and spinal cord to a muscle or gland for function. The Pacinian corpuscle is an encapsulated sensory nerve end, acting as a pressure and vibration receptor. The myelin sheath enveloping nerves allows for the quick and efficient transmission of electrical impulses along nerve cells. PNS represents peripheral nervous system. No presentations coming soon.